29 forecast. Well, the next big thing I'm tracking from the Weather Center is one more warmer than average day, followed by a weekend chill down. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. One more 80 degree day on Friday, followed by a frost risk by Sunday morning. Until then, in that first forecast for your Thursday night, a slow drop in temperature from the 70s into the 60s and then 50s overnight. A few upper 40s with a near calm wind and a mainly clear sky, so you'll need the jacket perhaps first thing in the morning. A seasonable start in the 40s and low 50s, then a quick rise to about 80 degrees by 2 p.m. and then a slow drop back into the 70s, so weather looks fine for those high school football games on Friday night. Looking back at the day in review, this is from Pinnacles. Along Skyline Drive shows us uh, some blue skies, then, then some filtered sunshine, some high level cirrus and alto cumulus clouds, those mid level clouds, but absolutely no rainfall in sight. And now it's starting to see a bit more fall foliage as we get deeper into October. Your four o'clock temperatures are just shy of 80 now in Charlottesville and Orange, low and mid 70s. Very pleasant in Harrisonburg, Stanton and Waynesboro. Here's a look outside live from the US Route 29 corridor at uh, Airport road seeing good conditions. We have some hazy sunshine. The evening commute kicking on off without no weather issues out here and the Doppler radar is nice and dry. It will stay that way for the next several days and nights. Now there is that autumn cold front arriving, but it will come through here with a little fanfare when it comes to precipitation, showers and storms. Just a few passing clouds with a weak weather disturbance over the Appalachians and the Ohio Valley. What I'm watching is a strong autumn cold front. It's strong when it comes to temperatures but not so strong when it comes to rain and thunderstorms. Look at this. If you look closely near Lake Superior, the upper part portion of Michigan will see snow. Marquette and Sault Ste. Marie, they'll see their first snow showers of the season. This is a sign of that cooler push of air, but we're going to stay on the dry side when that front comes on through. Temperature pattern above average for tomorrow and then this weekend a little bit below average for with highs in the 60s. We should be in the mid 70s for this time of the year and then we'll get back to near average going into next week. But overall drier conditions. Our high res weather tracker is showing tonight fair skies and then tomorrow morning perhaps a red sky sunrise. But the showers and thunder showers stay well away from our region. There's Friday evening just a few high clouds, but no other issues for your outdoor plans and no chance of rain until perhaps a week from now in your storm team 29 report tonight mainly clear skies a seasonable overnight our average low is 52 degrees and we'll be that at that temperature by dawn for charlottesville mid to upper 40s madison louisa Harrisonburg, Stanton and Waynesboro for your Friday. Highs near 80 in Charlottesville, upper 70s near 80 from Lovingston, Madison, Culpeper, Harrisonburg, Stanton and Waynesboro, low and mid 70s. Enjoy it because a fall like weekend for sure is on the way for the second weekend of October. Low and mid 60s by day. Uh oh, frost risk possible by Sunday morning, but great for college football. At, uh, for UVA as Louisville comes to town. 70 on Monday, Tuesday, low 70s, Wednesday, Thursday, lows back in the 40s and 50s. Maybe a chance of rain a week from now.